dimensional analysis is taken from module 4 the today's class we will study what do you mean by buckingham's theorem so in the last class we have solved the problems on Rayleigh's method. So Rayleigh's method, it was used to derive an expression for an equation which was having only 3 to 4 variables only, maximum. If the number of variables exceeds, then it becomes very difficult to solve the problem. So such problems can be easily solved by using this Buckingham's I theorem. So let us solve one problem by using this Buckingham's pi theorem. So there is some rules are there to solve the problems by using this Buckingham's pi theorem. So first let me read the problem. The resisting force F of a supersonic plane during flight can be considered as dependent upon the length of the aircraft L, velocity V, air viscosity mu, air density rho and the bulk modulus of air K. Express the functional relationship between these variables and the resisting force. So this problem let us solve by using Buckingham's I theorem. Here step 1 resisting force F this is the resisting force F it depends upon the length L velocity V viscosity mu density rho and bulk modulus k that means the resisting force f it depends upon all these variables hence this resisting force f it is a function of l v mu rho and k that means this f is the dependent variable that means it depends upon all these variables and these variables are called as independent variables because this f is a dependent variable so this f it depends upon all these variables so mathematically how we will write this mathematically f it is a function of that means resisting force f is a function of this l v mu rho and K. This is the first step we have to write now. Continuation of that. So now let us write what is the total number of variables. So total number of variables how we will write dependent variable plus independent variable. So vari total number of variables it is denoted by small n. So total six numbers of variables are there that is one dependent variable this is one dependent variable f is dependent variable this is one and these five are the independent variables so total see here one two three four five five independent variables are there and one is dependent variable so total number of variables that is n is equals to one plus five is equals to six the same procedure is applied for all the uh, Buckingham's pi theorem problems. The problems which are to be solved by using Buckingham's pi theorem, these steps you have to follow. First, we have to write the dependent variable and the independent variables in the mathematical form. Next, we should write, we should calculate the total number of variables present in the problem. That is, how many dependent, or that is dependent variable plus independent variables of variables n is equals to 1 plus 5 is equals to 6 that is 
one dependent variable and total number of independent variables for you so now for each and every variable we should write its fundamental dimension we are writing here so total number of fundamental dimensions will be equals to 3 so this will be fixed only because we are having three fundamental dimensions mainly that is m l and t total number of fundamental dimensions are 3 so now for each and every variable that is total number of six variables are there for each and every variable we should write its fundamental dimension the fundamental dimensions in the problem so f how f is calculated that is mass into acceleration where mass this capital m is the fundamental dimension for mass m acceleration is given by unit of acceleration is meter per square seconds where meter where length is the fundamental unit for meter divided by square seconds is nothing but t square if i will take this to the numerator this will be m l t to the power minus so next length l so it is the fundamental length l is the fundamental dimension for length of the aircraft that is l only velocity v is meters per second where length l is the fundamental dimension for meter divided by second that is t l divided by t that will be equals to l t to the power minus 1 viscosity fundamental dimension for viscosity is m l to the power minus 1 t to the power minus 1 so already we have written in the previous classes here so density rho this kg per meter cube the unit for mass is kg that is m is the fundamental dimension for mass m divided by meter cube that is length is the fundamental dimension for meter meter cube divided by l cube so if i will take this to the numerator it will be l to the power minus 3 like this we will write the fundamental dimension for k also where k bulk modulus m l to the power minus 1 t to the power minus 2 this already we have written in the previous classes next number of next step is to write down number of dimensionless pi terms we have to write down how many number of dimensionless pi terms are there so this is the rules of buckingham's pi theorem to solve the problems so this number of dimensionless pi terms it is given by n minus m is equals to 6 minus 3 that is n is a 6 number of fundamental dimensions is 3 So total number of dimensionless pi terms is equals to three. That means we have to write the three pi terms. Say for example, pi one, pi two, and pi three are formed based on this equation, based on this number six minus three equal to three. That means we have to write three pi terms. That means this f is a function of pi one, pi two, and pi three. That will be equals to zero. so each pi term is equals to m plus 1 variables will be there for each pi term that is pi 1 pi 2 and pi 3 they will be having total m plus 1 variables so m is 3 plus 1 that means for each pi term it will be having four number of variables and this m will be equals to 3 it is also called as the repeating variables it is also called as the repeating variables so now we have to select three repeating variables in the problems so how we have to select the three repeating variables see here out of these independent variables from the only independent variables only we have to select three repeating variables so totally independent variables are five variables independent that is l v that is length velocity viscosity density and bulk modulus so out of these five independent variables we have to select three variables as the repeating variables in such a way that one variable it should have a geometric property see here i will repeat it once again so total number of independent variables are five out of these five independent variables only we have to select three repeating variables the three repeating variables selected it should have that means one variable it should have a geometric property 
for example geometric property means it should have length or it should have diameter height it may be area volume these are all comes under the geometric properties that means one variable whatever you are selecting it should be it should have a geometric property then second variable whatever you are selecting it should have a flow property flow property means for example it should have a velocity or it should have a acceleration etc compulsorily one variable it should consists of geometric property second variable whatever you are selecting it should have the flow property and the third variable what we are selecting it should have one fluid property for example it may be a viscosity it may be a density it may be a pressure also it should have one fluid property that means three variables whatever we are selecting from this independent variable that means one variable it should have geometric property second variable it should have flow property and third variable it should have fluid property like that way we have to select three variables from the independent variables only next in this problem these requirements are fulfilled by selecting l this comes under the geometric property where velocity it comes under the flow property whereas density it comes under the fluid property as repeating variables another main important thing in selecting the repeating variables repeating variables selected it should not form a dimensionless group it should not form it should have some dimensions that means whatever the variables we are selecting it should have some dimensions either it may be a l or m or t that means the variable selected it should not form a dimensionless group for example we cannot select efficiency as the repeating variable because it is a non dimensionless number it is not having any dimensions so such a non dimensionless number that is dimensionless group we cannot select as the repeating variable whatever the repeating variables we are selecting one should have a geometric property second should have a flow property third should have the fluid property and another main thing is that they should form a dimensions this is main important thing next we have written here we are having total three pi terms and each pi term will be having four variables it is m plus 1 see here this is f is also variable this is also variable this is also variable and this is also variable so for each and every pi term we are going to write these same repeating variables only so let me write for first pi 1 term pi 1 term is equals to so these are the three repeating variables and the remaining variables we will select one by one and we will apply so let me first i will take f that is resisting force f i will take here and the remaining three selected uh, variables i will write here it is l to the power a1 into v to the power b1 into rho density to the power c1 where a1 b1 and c1 are the arbitrarily powers and these arbitrarily powers that is the value of a1 b1 and c1 we are going to calculate by equating the powers of m l and t on both sides of the equation then we are going to calculate the values of these powers similarly pi 2 is equals to so now the next remaining variable is mu these are the selected variables these we will repeat it same thing but only powers will change here because it is a pi 2 term let me indicate this a2 v to the power b2 rho to the power c2 similarly so total six variables are there out of that three we have selected as the repeating variables and three remaining variables we will take one by one in this pi term so pi 3 is equals to now remaining variable is a l to the power a3 v to the power b3 into density to the power c3 so now each pi term that is pi 1 pi 2 and pi 3 each pi term is solved 
by the principle of dimensional homogeneity dimensional homogeneity means we have to equate both the lhs of the equations and rhs of the equations the powers should be same or the equation we should get the same equation on lhs and rhs of the equation like that way we should write the equations so let me write for pi term that its dimension formula so for pi it is not having any dimensions so here for pi i will write m to the power 0 l to the power 0 t to the power 0 because it is not having any dimensions similarly like efficiency this pi term it is a dimensionless group for that purpose i will read here right here m to the power 0 l to the power 0 t to the power 0 because it is not having any dimensions similarly for f force so force dimensions in the dimension form how will write force m l t to the power minus 2 real as it is the power a1 as it is v velocity l t to the power minus 1 to the power b1 similar this density m l to the power minus 3 to the power c1 so now equating the powers of m l and t on both sides of the equation that is the lhs of the equations and rhs of the equations we are going to equate these powers of m l and t on both sides so now power of m power of m that is equals to 0 is equals to because in the left hand side power of m is 0 So I have written here zero is equals to power of m is one here. Nothing is there means it will be one only. So I will write here one. So here no any m term is there. Here also no any m term is there. But here m term is there. The power c one. I have written here one plus c one. So with this only let me calculate the value of c one is equals to minus one. Next power of l. power of l that is power of l is zero here in the left hand side of the equation where l equal to zero is equals to 1 plus l is 1 here plus next l so l to the power a1 we are going to add all the powers l plus a1 so here l b1 is power plus b1 so here l to the power minus 3 c1 it is here i will write here minus 3 C one. So now next power of t here. Power of t that is in the left hand side. Power of t is zero. The zero is equals to minus two minus b one. Power of t is minus two here. There no any t term is there. Here t term is there. This is minus b one. Here also no any t term is there. It is minus two minus b one. So solving this equation, we will get as b one is equals to minus. So already now we have calculated the value of c1 and value of b1. So now let us calculate the value of a1 by substituting the values of b1 and c1 in this equation, and let us calculate the value of a1. 1 plus a1 plus b1. B1 value is minus 2. Minus of three, c one value is minus one. I have written here minus one. So one plus a one minus two minus into minus plus three here. So a one minus two is equal to a one. Sorry, a one plus two equal to zero. Therefore, a one is equal to minus two. That means we have calculated the value of a one, b one, and c one. A one as minus two. B1 also has minus 2, where C1 value is minus 1. So now let us substitute these values of A1, B1, and C1 in the equation. That is, pi 1 is equal to f. I will write as it is, l to the power A1, where A1 value is minus 2 into v, v to the power b, b1. That is, b1 value is minus 2 into density to the power minus 1. So similarly, pi one is equal to the same equation. I will write in this form f, and this is any of it is to the power minus two, v to the power minus two, rho to the power minus one. So I will write these density, velocity, and length in terms of denominator. 
so this will be v square and this will be l square same equation i have written in this format we can also write f divided by rho l square v square whatever the equations you can write in this form so this is my final expression for the pi 1 term the same procedure we will follow it for pi 2 and pi 3 next second pi term now already pi 2 is equals to so let me write the dimensions form for both the equations so this pi 2 again it is a dimensionless group it is not having any dimensions for that purpose i will write here m to the power 0 l to the power 0 t to the power 0 whereas pi 2 term now i think it is viscosity so viscosity viscosity the dimension form of viscosity is m l to the power minus 1 t to the power minus 1 Again, this L as it is A2 power A2 into velocity L t to the power minus 1 to the power B2. Similarly, this is density M L to the power minus 3 C2. So again, equating the powers of M L T on both sides of the equations. So let me write for power of M. Power of M is 0 on the LHS of the equation. So power of M is 1 here. Power of M is 1 here. So here m term is not there, here also m term is not there. So here m term is c2, power c2. So I will write here 1 plus c2. So with this let me calculate the value of c2. c2 is equals to minus 1 here. c2 is equals to minus 1 with this equating the power of m. Similarly, power of l, power of l. So in the left hand side of the equation, power of l is 0. That will be equals to l. l to the power is minus 1 here in this equation plus l to the power a2 plus a2 so in this equation l power is b2 so i have written here plus b2 so l power is minus 3 c2 so here i have written minus 3 2 c2 so now let me calculate the power of t here also so in the left side of the equation power of t is 0 so here in the right hand side of the equation power of t is minus 1 so here no any t term is there. So here t term is there. It is minus b2. So here also no any t term is there. So my final expression is 0 equal to minus 1 minus b2. So therefore the value of b2 will be equals to minus 1. So now already we have calculated the value of b2 and already we have calculated the value of c2. So both these b2 and c2 value I will substitute in this equation and I will calculate the value of a2 here. So 0 is equals to minus 1 plus a2 where b2 is minus 1. I have written here minus 1 minus 3 c2 is minus 1. So minus 1 plus a2 minus 1 this is plus 3. So my final expression is a2 plus 1 equal to 0 therefore a2 is equals to minus 1. So let us substitute the value of a2, b2 and c2 values in this equation. Therefore, this is pi 2 is equals to mu as it is I have written here L to the power A2 is A2 is minus 1 V to the power B2 is B2 value is minus 1 rho to the power C2 C2 value is minus 1. So pi 2 is equals to mu divided by rho L V I have written the equation in this form. This is, if I take this to the numerator then I can write this equation this form. If we will take these values only in the numerator We'll write this mu rho to the power minus 1 l to the power minus 1 v to the power minus 1 this equation we will write in this pi term like this write the equation for third pi term that is pi 3 is equals to same procedure we will apply here it is bulk modulus k l to the power a3 v to the power b3 rho to the power c3 so again let me write the dimensionless dimensions of the equations for pi 3 again it is not having any dimensions then m to the power 0 l to the power 0 t to the power 0 we have written here next is equals to for bulk modulus so dimensionless dimensions form is m l to the power minus 1 t to the power minus 2 l as it is to the power a3 where velocity is given by l t to the power minus 1 b3 as it is power density is m l to the power minus 3 to the power c3 so now again equating the powers of m l and t on both sides both sides means on the lhs and rhs side of the equations 
so let me write for power of m power of m is 0 in the lhs of the equation equals to power of m is 1 here 1 i have written here plus here no m term is there here also no m term is there here m term is there plus c3 so with this equation i will calculate easily the value of c3 c3 is equals to minus 1 we have calculated here next power of l l is equals to 0 here on the lhs side of the equation next this is minus 1 here written here minus 1 so here it is plus a3 same term i have written here plus a3 so next in this equation l to the power b3 is there i have written here plus b3 so here minus 3c3 in this equation so minus 3c3 so we should add all the powers here so next i can substitute here also c3 value we will substitute it at the end only. So now let us calculate the power of t here. So on the left side of the equation, power of t is 0. The RHS side of the equation, power of t is here. You can see here, minus 2 it is here. So I have written here minus 2. So here in this equation, again it is minus b3. I have written here minus b3. Next, there are no any other t equations, t powers. So with this equation, if I will solve this, I will get b3 is equal to minus 2. Let us substitute the value of this B3 and the value of this C3 in this main equation. Let us calculate the value of this A3. I will have calculated. So 0 is equal to minus 1 plus A3 as it is. B3 is minus 2. I have substituted the value of B3 as minus 2. Minus 3. C3 is minus 1. Minus into minus plus 3. So therefore, A3 is equal to 0. By solving this equation, I will get A3 is equal to 0. Now we will substitute the value of this A3, B3 and C3 value in the main equation. It is pi 3 is equal to K. I will keep as it is L to the power A3. A3 is 0. V to the power B3. B3 value is minus 2. Rho to the power C3. C3 value is minus 1. L to the power 0 is nothing but 1 only. So this will be 1 only therefore I will write pi 3 is equal to k divided by rho into v square. The same equation I have written in this form. Now we have calculated the first pi term, second pi term and third. We have written this equation f1 is a function of pi 1, pi 2, pi 3 term equal to 0. So f1, let, let me write the equations of pi 1. Pi 1 value is f divided by rho l square into v square. Pi 2 value is mu divided by L V rho, whereas pi 3 value is k divided by rho into v square. So if I want to write this f term separately, so I have written here f divided by rho L square v square is equals to this phi phi of this equation, function of this equation, mu divided by L V rho, comma k divided by rho v square. Or I can write this equation in this form also. F is equals to F is equals to rho into L square V square phi of this term. So if you will write in this form also, this is the final expression. Okay, I can write the equation in this form also, or we can write the equation in this form also. See. So this completes the Buckingham's pi theorem problem.